Purge, Usage and Equations, Part 2. This video picks up where Part 1 left off. The student should see Part 1 before viewing this one. In the previous video, we analyzed the two extreme choices that the designer faces regarding purge flow rate. First case, if the purge flow rate is small, then not much reactant will be lost, and therefore the flow rate of ammonia will be very similar to what it was in the absence of inert. So say, instead of 200 moles a second of ammonia, that 190 moles a second are formed. This implies an extent of reaction of 95 moles a second. If the single pass conversion is kept at 62.5%, then this is what the situation will look, at, look like if an appropriate purge flow rate is used to maintain steady state operation. This is the flow chart diagram for the production of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen containing an inert substance. The single pass conversion is 62.5% and the extent of reaction is 95 moles a second. We see that because of the purge stream, the inert is removed from the system and as a result does not accumulate. If there were no purge stream, this system could not operate at steady state because the inert would continuously enter through stream F, not react in the reactor and not leave if stream P were not there. It is important to note that a small purge flow rate results in a high inert concentration at the reactor inlet, stream M. In this particular case, 3.6% molar. In stream F, the inert concentration is only 0.5% molar. This could undermine the re reactor performance and, in this case, is not a desirable outcome. Second case, the other option would be to make the purge flow rate large. In this way, there would be less argon flowing around the system, but as a consequence, a lot of reactant will be lost through stream P, and a smaller product ammonia flow rate will be obtained. So say, instead of 200 moles a second of ammonia, that 140 moles a second are formed. This implies an extent of reaction of 70 moles a second, maintaining the single pass conversion at 62.5% and making the necessary calculations according to a steady state scenario. This represents the resulting situation. It is important to note that the design that designing the purge to have a larger flow rate produces a small inert concentration at the reactor inlet, stream M. In this case, 0.62% molar, very close to the 0.5% molar of stream F. Determining the optimal size of the purge flow rate is the task of an experienced chemical engineer. Lastly, the third question that we must address in this video deals with the equations that are associated with the purge. This is very important since there are expressions that the student would likely have to use in order to fully solve a problem involving a purge. As shown in the figure, a purge is a side stream taken from a stream that is usually part of the main internal process circuit. It is important to remember this figure and what was stated earlier regarding a purge stream not being selective, i.e. it is not selective towards any of the components that will end up in it. Therefore, the composition of the streams before and after the purge stream is equal to the composition of the purge stream itself. This can be expressed in the following way. The molar fractions of the components flowing in stream V are the same as the molar fractions of the same components in streams R and P. You can verify this for yourself by calculating the molar fractions of the components from the molar flow rate shown. The situation where a stream is split into two or more smaller streams without a selective distribution of components among them can be better understood by considering the following analogy. Imagine that you have prepared a nice thick soup for dinner and you are serving it in different bowls according to how hungry your guests are. Some of them will have a bowl with a lot of soup in it, while others will have a smaller portion. Which will taste better, a bowl with a larger portion of soup or one with a smaller portion? The answer is obviously that the soup will taste the same in all the bowls, since the amount in a bowl has nothing to do with its flavor. In other words, the composition of the soup ingredients is the same in the casserole, in the bowl with a larger portion, and in the bowl with a smaller portion. We now return to the ammonia example as there remains information to be extract, extracted from our analysis of the purge stream. There is an equation that may prove very useful when a system in steady state has a purge stream, which can be obtained from an overall mass balance on the inert. Since there is no consumption or accumulation of the inert, we desire steady state operation, the mass balance reduces to input of inert equals output of inert. 
In other words, the purge stream in a system under steady state operation must be designed in such a way that the flow rate of the inert substance entering the system must equal that leaving the system. Making use of appropriate nomenclature, we obtain, after carrying out the mass balance, the following expression. To get some practice, you should check this for yourself using the data supplied on the flow chart. Finally, we make some observations to help students avoid common confusions regarding purge streams. First observation. A purge stream may also be necessary in systems without inert substances. Students tend to think that without inert substances, a purge stream becomes unnecessary. There are, however, situations in which the reactants are not supplied in stoichiometric proportion. In these situations, an excess of a given reactant with respect to stoichiometry will behave as if it were an inert substance. If the excess reactant is not removed from the system, there will be too much of it in the system, making attainment of steady state impossible. Second observation. A purge stream might not be necessary in a system where reactants contain inert substances. This happens when the inert substance is able to leave by any of the system's existing outlet, outlet streams. For instance, if after the separation unit, the inert substance is able to leave the process in stream O along with the product, then there is no need to force it out of the process by introducing a purge stream.